What's going on everybody? Welcome to After Prison Show and in this video we're going to talk about five rules pertaining to the prison showers. You know when you think about taking a shower in prison there's some rules that you probably best to pay attention to. However, none of these rules are going to be written and laminated and posted right there in the shower area. No, these are unspoken rules, untalked about rules, unknown rules until they're known. And if you're green or a newbie or a fish or fresh meat or anything like that, RIP to the junies of that fresh meat prisoner who doesn't know about these unknown until they're known prison rules pertaining to a prison shower. And you know, you may be wondering to yourself, Joe, if these rules are unknown and untalked about, well, how do you know about these rules? Well, Unfortunately, because this is prison and most everything pertaining to prison is usually negativity, fights, violence, and all sorts of other really bad things, the only way that you're going to learn about these rules is by learning them the hard way. So let me get this straight. Joe's saying if you don't know about these rules, the only way you're going to learn is the hard way? I bet you had to learn the very hard way, the real hard way, Joe. Send. I hope he pins this comment. Yeah, it certainly goes without saying that when you first begin to serve time, you're going to have to learn a lot of things, unfortunately, the hard way. And the hard way is a vast and wide category that could mean exactly, literally, verbatim, the hard way. Or it could just mean that you're going to get beat up a time or two, or maybe if you're so lucky, well, possibly just embarrassed. And I'm just going to go ahead and throw this out there. I'm not going to say which of those three different types of hard ways I had to learn the lessons that I learned. Still kind of hurts to sit down just thinking about it. But with all of that being mentioned, what do you say we just go ahead and dive head first into these five prison rules? for prison showers. Now this first prison rule is probably going to sound like a no-brainer, but I cannot emphasize enough how many guys completely disregard this rule when getting inside of a damn shower in prison. And this first rule is keep your eyes straight ahead. Don't look down. Don't deviate from the plan at all. Keep your eyes in the game. Keep yourself focused. Keep a level playing field of sight at all times when going into those showers. And though what I'm about to say next probably pertains to everything else in life, it definitely doesn't pertain to a prison shower. And what that is, is never, never keep your eyes on the ball. You know, I can't emphasize this enough, but there is absolutely no script for any of this. It's pretty much just turn on the camera, hit record, and just see what kind of magic we can create. Moving on to the second prison rule pertaining to the prison shower, respect the barricade. Now, this is going to be a very, very important rule. You have got to respect the barricade. And let's just go ahead and throw out a hypothetical so I can give you guys a better understanding of what the barricade actually is. Let's just say, hypothetically, you're going into the prison shower, you've got your towel draped over your shoulder, you're ready to take you a prison bath. And you're going into that shower area, and there's something that's obstructing your path, preventing you from being able to enter where those showers are at. It could be a trash can, it could be a mop, it could be a broom, it could be anything. It could be a pair of shoes. If there is anything that you have to move or step over in an effort to get into those showers, well, that there, folks, is a shower barricade. And that means that there's something going on in those showers that you definitely don't want to see. And if you do decide to disregard that barricade and continue on your merry way back into those showers, you are guaranteed two things. To see something that you definitely don't want to see and also potentially, most likely, and probably, well, you're going to have to go put your shoes on right after that because you're going to be doing some fighting. Whoa! Uh-oh! Uh-oh! Number three, keeping your distance. 
You know, there's this rule of thumb that pertains to a men's bathroom. I'm not sure if it pertains to a women's bathroom. I've never been inside of a women's bathroom. You know, I've heard that a women's bathroom looks like Area 51. They've got aliens in there. They've got all sorts of top secret experiments taking place in there. Again, I've never been inside of there, so I can't verify or vouch for any of these things. But inside of a men's bathroom, you know, there's a certain kind of etiquette that you carry about yourself. Let's say, for example, you're at the airport. You walk into the bathroom. There's a long line of urinals, and there's one guy at one of those urinals. Maybe he's somewhere in the middle of that urinal wall, and you've got to use the bathroom as well. Well, when you walk into that bathroom, you're most certainly not going to walk right up next to that guy so that you can use the restroom. But then again, you know, I guess some people, they do do that. Strangest damn thing, if you ask me. Well, just like that men's bathroom etiquette where you don't go use the urinal right next to a guy if there's a bunch of other urinals available, you want to give yourself a little space and room, the same exact thing applies inside of a prison shower. Let's just say you go into the showers and the showers aren't busy. There's one guy who's in the shower. There's five shower heads. You're not going to walk into that shower, or at least you best to not walk into that shower and think you're gonna take a shower right next to that guy. Now, of course, there are certain situations where this will actually be acceptable, where you can actually go take a shower right next to another guy, nuts to butt, inside of that shower. And the only time this is ever acceptable is if you're in a situation where everybody's coming in from wreck, the showers are busy, everybody's trying to hurry up, take a shower so they can go to chow or so that they can begin to relax for the rest of the evening, or if you're in a situation where shower time is limited, and everybody's just trying to get inside that shower at the same exact time. Those are the only situations where showering right next to another grown man with his little baby arm just a dangling in the breeze right there is going to be okay. Because let me just say this. If you do decide to go into a shower that's not busy at that time and take a shower, there's one other guy inside of there, and you go and stand right next to him and begin to shower, there is a very good likelihood that this guy will try to knock you out on sight. And if he doesn't, because he's softer than a bag of cotton candy or for whatever the reason that this guy is okay with that, maybe he's interested in your junies and you're none the wiser. Because again, you're green, you're a newbie, you're a fish, you're fresh meat. Well, now you gotta worry about this guy coming and trying to borrow from you a late night snack and I ain't talking about no honey bun neither. And then you also gotta worry about everybody else who's walking into that shower area seeing you standing right there nuts to butts with this other prisoner taking a shower when there's multiple other showers shower heads available, they're going to be talking like, hey, why Joe standing in that shower right next to that guy? There's all them other shower heads available. What? Hey, Joe like that for real. I'm about to start calling Joe punk tattoo guy. There's a whole lot of problems that could come from doing something like that, so it's best to not do it in the first place. Number four, and this is where things are going to start to get a little crazy. Of course you know about dropping the soap in the shower. There's so many prison myths and prison urban legends about this. If you drop the soap in the prison shower, somebody's going to potentially come up and stand right behind you. And I have to assure you that in like 93% of the cases, that's just not going to happen. So you're saying that in the other 7% of those chances, it will happen? Joe, I love you. I'm so sorry that you had to spend so much of your life locked up. I know you are a part of that 7%. I'm sorry, Joe. Please pin this comment. Please, Joe. You gotta see this comment. I feel so bad that you are a part of that 7%. But if you do drop the soap in the shower, that bar of soap is as good as gone. There's no going crawling on your hands and knees trying to recover that, trying to dangle your way through the jungle of baby arms and elephant trunks. <laughs> God, I've done it. Before. But I have to tell you, there is something far worse than dropping the soap in a prison shower. And this is all jokes aside. I cannot tell you this any more seriously. And what that is, is wearing your boxers in the shower. You know, when you drop the soap in the shower, everyone's gonna hear it, they're gonna turn, they're gonna laugh at you. Dang, Joe, you just dropped the soap. Hey, you gonna come get this bar of soap? It's right here between my, come on, get your bar of soap, Joe. I don't need it, I'm just gonna wash off the water. Dropping the soap and getting embarrassed because you've done so is one thing. However, wearing your boxers inside of the shower, that is absolutely far greater, far more worse, more serious, more sinister than anything that you could do inside of a prison shower. I mean, I, 
I don't get it. I see other people talking about they be wearing their boxes in the shower. I mean, and they and they look like they go real hard. I don't know if they go real hard, but they 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 at least are some good actors, or or, or they try to pretend that they go real hard. What's so wrong with wearing your boxes in the shower? Well, I'm gonna tell you. You know, if you wear your boxers in the shower, that could only mean like one of a few different things. Either you're insecure about your manhood, or maybe you don't want people looking at you. Maybe you think people are looking at you. Or maybe, maybe you really want people looking at you. Because guys who wear their boxers in the shower in prison, and I will admit there are a few guys who do this, but there are definitely Four more guys who are going to get absolutely butt ball naked inside of those showers. And they're going to do so because they're secure in their manhood. Or, like me, just don't care. I'm not going to look down, but I can guarantee everything in here is bigger than me. It's, it's probably like a bunch of little elephant trunks and baby arms down there. I'm not going to look. Joe, don't look. Keep your eyes right here. Wearing your boxers in the showers could make you a target. People are definitely going to look at you. Why is that guy wearing his boxers in the shower? Nobody else is wearing their boxers. What is he trying to hide? Maybe he's got a tattoo he doesn't want anybody to see. Maybe it's a name. Maybe it's a man's name or a pair of lips. And you know, there's a couple of other things to keep in mind with wearing your boxers in the shower. One, the only color boxers that you're gonna be allowed to wear in prison are white. And for those of you who know anything about a wet t-shirt contest, oh, I know why he wore those white boxes in the showers now. It's like he don't even got no boxes on. And then the last thing to keep in mind with wearing a pair of boxers in the shower is, you know, once you get done taking that shower and you've got that soaking wet pair of boxers on, well, forget dropping the soap. Because how else are you gonna change from those soaking wet boxers into anything else. Oh, I got you. I got you right there. Look at you. Butt ball naked. Thought you was going to wear some boxes in the shower. Hey, look, he ain't got his boxes on damn, does he? Everybody's gonna laugh at you. They're gonna laugh at you. Come here. Come not where, where you go? Yeah, no matter what your reasoning for wearing boxers inside of the shower is, it's not gonna make any sense by the time you get done taking a shower. In fact, there's a good potential your whole reasoning for that could backfire. The final prison rule pertaining to prison showers that I must share with you, number five, is always pay attention to who's in that shower before you decide to get in there yourself. You know, you may be going into the shower and there might not be a barricade. There might not be anything preventing you from going in there. And with that, you might walk into that shower area and realize that there's somebody in there that you shouldn't be showering with. And that person could be somebody to the likes of Peaches, Punk Tattoo Guy, Delicious, Cherry. Those are just a couple of names of many, many more types of individuals that you do not want to shower with. In fact, this is a very, very serious thing in prison. You know, if you are somebody who doesn't swing that way, then there are certain individuals that you don't take showers with. And you could walk into the shower and think to yourself, oh wow, there's only one person in the shower. I wonder why? Because those guys, they take showers by themselves. They get the entire shower area to themselves when they go up in there. And anyone else who goes in there with them well, that's going to say a lot to that person who's back there in that shower and also to everyone else who's coming into that shower area seeing who's back there. Hey, look, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did so, please leave a like and a comment letting me know exactly what you thought about it. As always, until next time, enjoy life, the free world, never take a moment for granted, and make the most of every day. Peace! My God, everything in here is like a damn elephant trunk! Where my girl at? Oh my God! Where's Jody got my girl?